Hey, it's Mike, and I want to talk about Kathy Woods, uh, her warnings about passive investing. Now, this isn't a new concept. Michael Berry, who is a great hedge fund manager who called the um, the 2008 financial crash, has also warned about passive investing. And I thought maybe the best way to describe what Kathy Woods is talking about is to use this Twitter th- Twitter thread that I found where she talks about the dangers of passive investing. So she starts here and says, disruptive innovation is another way of saying creative destruction. ARK Invest typically researches the big ideas that will transform the way the world works. And bad ideas, we highlight the likely victims. She moves on to talk about the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. And she says, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ are populating their benchmarks increasingly with value traps created by innovation, stocks that are cheap for a reason. Innovation is dismantling and or disrupting the biggest companies in traditional benchmarks. Passive and benchmark sensitive investing is contributing to the most massive misallocation of capital in history. Investing in companies because of their past success risk putting the U.S. at a serious competitive disadvantage to countries like China. Passive investing is unlikely to keep pace with the exponential growth of five innovation platforms and 14 technologies evolving today. In our view, S&P is depriving benchmark-sensitive investors of some of the most important investment opportunities in the world, like Tesla. So basically what she's saying, for lack of a better term, that the S&P 500 is just filled with a lot of crappy companies. And, you know, this kind of affects me personally because... I have two portfolios. I have my retirement portfolio, and then I have sort of my actively managed portfolio. And my passive sort of retirement portfolio is basically just the S&P 500. It's 100% the S&P 500. And what Kathy Woods is saying is it allows me, I have to rethink where am I going to put that money? Because one of the things I like about the S&P 500 is that it historically returns almost 10% a year. So I know that my retirement money can get 10% a year. However, if she says that the S&P 500 is filled with a bunch of junky stocks, then, you know, I got to think, do I put some or all of that retirement money in active uh, ETFs? It may be something to look at. You know, the, 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 the other thing that Kathy Woods has talked about, not in this Twitter thread, but in just other conversations, she says that a lot of the companies in the S&P 500 would probably be out of business if it wasn't for the fact that they were in these index funds or in these uh, ETFs like the SPY, which are the biggest index funds in the world, uh, the Vanguard, S&P 500. Every b- large um, company has their own S&P, like Schwab has one, um, you know, just all the big players. So it kind of makes you wonder if you're doing, um, if you're, invested in the S&P 500 should you move your money out of there. Now, of course, Kathy Wood does have a vested interest in talking down passive uh, indexes because she runs an active index. And her active index, um, you know, year to date is up almost uh, 90%. I mean, look, it started at, actually, it's up almost 100%. It started at 50 and it's now broken 100. So, her index has doubled while the S&P 500 is only up 4% for the year. So she does have a point there. I mean, even look at what happened yesterday. The ARK Innovation ETF was only down less than a quarter of a percent while the Dow was down 1%, S&P down 1%, NASDAQ down almost 1%, Russell down one and a quarter percent. So maybe she is right that the S&P 500 is filled with a lot of junky stocks that you know allow that are making us kind of or the average investor because the average investor is mostly invested in the S&P 500 like the S&P uh, ETF is the largest ETF out there the S&P 500 index funds from Vanguard and Schwab those are usually the biggest funds out there so maybe if you have your money in there you're going to be lagging behind the future so that is something to think about it's something that I have to think about it's just I'm so worried because I traditionally do not touch my retirement money, but now I got I got to think about that. So, just some thoughts to put out there. If I find any more information um, about passive versus active index investing, I will certainly pass along to you. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to put a like on it and subscribe and turn on notifications for um, the latest updates on stocks, options, and stock trading strategies. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.